a bad feeling about this, man. It's gonna be all right, mate. I don't know about this. We're skylined out here. We're not on the military crest. It's daytime. You need to chill the fuck out, mate. Whoa. Hey, man. Are you, are you filming me right now? Yes, I am. Look, man, I told you I don't like this shit. We never filmed during no, the daytime. No, fuck you. Something's not no, right No, I like to film in the daytime, right? We camera. need to. No. Did you turn that camera Are you off? fucking serious? Hey, man, get oh, back here. This is Nick Naja, back at it with some anchoring knots today. We're going to work on the clove hitch first. All right, look, stop the camera, dude. I got to get this off my chest. I'm, I'm sorry about earlier. Is, is your eye okay? Are you fucking serious? Look, I, I, didn't, I didn't mean to push no, you down the hill. Okay, right? I'm really it's sorry. Okay. Hey, look, man, I, I got a case of monsters with your name all right, on it, dude. all right? You need I, to I, tie I, the fucking knots. All right, Just tie all right. them. So here we go with the clove hitch. Clove hitch is a pretty simple knot. It's a useful knot, especially if you have to release the knot quickly, and it works most effectively when you have tension against the running end. You're going to start out by going around the object that you intend to anchor to or fix your line to. You're going to go over the top of it again, making an X. So you're going around the object twice, second time around you're making the X. You're going to lift the X up and push your pigtail in through the middle underneath the X and you're gonna pull it tight. Make sure you have your pigtail length between a thumb and a fist. So now you have tension against the running end that makes the knot stay tight. And there's your clove hitch. Your next knot is gonna be the bowling. The bowling is the most commonly used uh, military knot. It's the knot you'll learn. You'll learn this knot at boot camp if you're in the Navy. Uh, you can use it for lots of different things, especially uh, lashing down gear in your small boat. You make a loop with the line going over the top. You're gonna go up through that loop with the running end and around, and then right back down through the loop. So now you have your pigtail in and you're just going to do your safety knot, which is of course just an overhand knot that follows the locking bar. So you go over the top of the knot, around and underneath it, and then through the loop that you've made. And of course you'll address your pigtail rule, make sure your pigtail is bigger than your hand but not extending past your thumb. And there's your bowling with the safety. So you're gonna start with your round turn around the object just by wrapping the line around it. That working end is gonna go across the line and then through the loop you've made. You pull that tight. You're just gonna do the same thing again. Your second half hitch, cross over the line, wrap it around the back and through the loop, cinch it down. It doesn't always look pretty, but this rope is designed to have tension on the running end and that will keep it snug and together. I'm going to show you a second time here from the other angle, wrapping your rope around the object, that's your round turn, cross the over, around the back and through that loop, it's your first half hitch, and you're just going to do one more half hitch the exact same way. Cross the line over, wrap it around the back and through the loop, hold it tight. Once again, it's not always going to look pretty when you tie it, but when you have tension on the other end the way it's designed, oop, don't forget your pigtail. Thanks for watching. That concludes this video on your anchoring knots. As you can see, it's about 2.30, so I'm gonna have me a little dip ski. As you can see here, my dip can is tactically dummy corded to my camis. I mean, what, what the, damn it. This thing's too short. I'm trying to pack a can here, what the? God damn it, son of a <laughs> Cut the tape, just, just cut it off. All your friends are subscribing to General Discharge.